welcome guys so in last video we have discussed about what is the kernel architecture and uh, what are the different subsystem in linux kernel so now the question arises like uh, from where we can get a linux kernel and uh, how we can build the linux kernel and uh, what are the various configuration we can do before building the linux kernel so let's understand all these stuff in this presentation so as you can see like today's agenda will be how to download linux kernel how to build linux kernel after that we will be discussing like uh, what are the kernel configurations available so we will be discussing mostly three kernel configuration first is make config second is make menu config third is make def config so let's start uh, so the first thing is what you have to do is you have to download linux kernel from kernel.org so kernel.org is a website which is maintained by kernel community so the all participants of that community enhance features of linux kernel and whatever the changes they do they upload on kernel.org so kernel.org is the source from where you can get your kernel so let's do that so what you have to do is you have to type www.kernel.org as you can see i can see the latest stable kernel is the 4.2 so 4.2 is the version of our kernel so you have to just press press on this button and you will be getting linux kernel from this website you can save it anywhere in your uh, pc so after downloading what you have to do is whatever the kernel you got from kernel.org it's a compressed kernel so first job is to uncompress this kernel so what you will do is you will use tar command so let's do it on linux machine so that you can understand it better so this is my download folder in this folder i have downloaded my linux kernel so this is the linux compressed kernel which i got from kernel.org so what you have to do is you have to just give command tar hyphen xf your uncompressed file name so once you will run this command you will be receiving uncompressed kernel folder as you can see i already done this so i have got this kernel folder as an output so what now what you have to do you have to go in this folder so now we have downloaded the kernel and we have also uncompressed it so now we will understand like what exactly the configuration of linux kernel so the kernel which we have downloaded from kernel.org that kernel is a generic kernel means that is specific to some particular hardware let's suppose for x86 but the thing is you might be working on some other hardware suppose you are working on ti hardware you are working on qualcomm hardware you are working on samsung hardware so you have to make that linux kernel compatible to your hardware for doing that you have to configure your kernel kernel according to your specific hardware so the way of configuring configuring the kernel for different hardware is called linux kernel configuration so there are various ways of configuration the kernel so we will be discussing mostly used ways of configuration of kernel so as you can see the first way of configuring the kernel is make config make config is a character based question answer session method in which kernel will start asking questions to you like whether to enable some particular setting or not you have to just choose yes or no so continuously it will ask different question to you and you have to answer according to your requirement so what you have to do is 
as I said, you have to go into the uncompressed kernel folder and you have to type a command make config. When you will type this command and you will enter this command, kernel will start configuration. It might take some time. So you can see like kernel is asking me the question whether to build it for 64 bit. I can type y for yes. Cross compile tool prefix. If I, if you doesn't know the answer, if you want some default configuration, you have to just press enter. It will go to the next question. Compile also drivers which will not load is the next question it asks to me. So you can press y for yes. Another question is asking. So in this way you can go ahead till your configuration is complete. So this was the one of method, but as you can see like this method is very typical for the user point of view like each and every time you have to answer the Linux kernel or this might be scenario you don't know the each exactly what is the meaning of each configuration of the kernel. So to avoid this we come across various very beautiful uh, way of configuration of kernel. So the this is make menu config. So make menu config is the GUI based configuration of kernel method. So in which what happen when we run this menu config we come across one GUI interface. So GUI interface list out all the options to you. So you it depends upon you you can select it or you can deselect it. So after doing all this configuration you can save your configuration and you can give kernel build. So but the thing is when you are doing menu, make menu config for the first time you might get an error the error will be because of your system don't have ncurses library installed in your system if it's already installed you won't get any error but if you are getting any error regarding ncurses library so you will be seeing this kinds of screen so you will be seeing like fatal error courses dot h no such file or directory include curses underscore low. So the solution to this problem is you have to download this library. So to download this library the command is sudo apt get update and after that what you have to do is sudo apt get install 11 curses 5 hyphen dev. So after doing this when you will do make menu config you will be, be seeing this screen. So let's try this on our Linux machine. So you have to be in the same folder, I mean same uncompressed folder of Linux kernel. So what you have to do is you have to type make menu config. So it will take some seconds. Yeah. So you can see like now the kernel configuration window is open. So you can see like multiple configuration option. You can select it or you can deselect it. To go to any of the configuration you have to just press enter. So you can see like these are the sub configuration. So if you want to select you have to just go to any of the configuration which you want to select and you have to press Y. Y means selecting it. If you want to deselect it you have to press space and if you want to save it you have to just use the arrow left arrow right arrow keys you have to go to the save option you have to click on save or you have to enter so after entering it it will save all your configuration to dot config file you have to just press ok and then you can exit and if you want to come out of this menu config screen you have to just go to exit button and you have to enter on exit button and again exit so now your configuration is saved from make menu config so this was the other way and i think this is the better way of doing kernel configuration one another method is available to us if you don't have knowledge about 
what are the conditions you need to do and uh, the good thing is kernel comes with some default configuration for some particular hardware so if you are doing it to just have a try of configuration of kernel so what you have to do is you have to run make def config so make def config what it will do is it will do the de default configuration of your linux kernel so you have to run make def config so it will automatically pick up all the default configuration and it will configure accordingly let's try so again in the same folder you have to just give make config and you can see sorry i given make config i should have given make def config i will stop it make def config so you can see like it's it's did the default configuration one thing you should remember you have to use one way of configuration the kernel i explain all of three because to give some overview of all the configuration of linux kernel to you but you have to choose one way of configuration the kernel so now after configuration the kernel you have done the configuration of your linux kernel so what task remains is you have to build your linux kernel so to build linux kernel what you have to do is you have to go to the same folder and you have to give command make let's try this so you can see i have just started running make to build the linux kernel so this is a complete process of building the kernel it will be going on for some time it might take some time depending upon the speed of your system so this is how we can build the kernel so after building the kernel you will be getting some default image of linux that will be stored in your arcam folder so other option you have you can speed up your linux kernel process by given by giving hyphen j and number of core present in your system so you can give four so it will speed up your linux kernel building because it, it will run four thread simultaneously on different cores so that all was for building and configuring the linux kernel so you can ask your question or you can post your question on our website www.tutorialsdaddy.com if you like our video please subscribe for more videos connect with us on facebook we have created one page on facebook that is www.facebook.com/tutorialsdaddy you can visit our website www.tutorialsdaddy.com you can go there and subscribe for more updates thanks for listening thank you bye